Hey everyone, this is Synchro with another Monster Hunter Bow video. In this video I will be covering the Hour Rain as well as the different coatings that I like to use in Monster Hunter 3U. Um, I personally love sleep coating, I love sleep bombing, I love, I just love the idea of putting a monster to sleep and bombing its brains out with bar barrel bombs. So I used to love using sleep coating they're not used to. I still love using sleep coating, but I make sure that my armor's gemmed for it. This Inogar armor doesn't come with it, this bow doesn't come with it, so I gemmed in for it for sleep coating. And the first thing I'm going to do in this video is start putting the Rathalos to sleep absolutely immediately. I start off with sleep coating, and it takes about anywhere between 10 to 12 sleep coatings to put them to sleep standard without no arrow rain. And I'll get to arrow rain in a few minutes, but. I'm just going to do exactly what I was doing in the other video. I'm going to just dodge the Rathalos attacks, keep some distance between us, charge up my bow twice, and I'm just going to let it rip with these sleep coatings. So, just a couple of more sleep coatings, and this Rathalos is sleeping, and I'm going to set some bombs down. And that's one of the tactics that I like to use with bow. I think it makes quests go by faster. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun, especially when you're playing in group settings. There's nothing more uh, satisfying to me than putting a monster to sleep and having four people sit barrel bombs down near its face. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world. So, Rathalo should be going to sleep in about one more shot here. There you go. Okay. It's a big boy. So, put some barrel bombs down by its face. I like to put the barrel bombs down and then put two more down, the smaller ones and watch it blow up. <laughs> so good. So, the next coating I'm going to load in is uh, para coating. To equip your coatings, make sure that you have them selected and you have to hit, I believe it's the X and the A button at the same time so that your player loads in the coatings to the bow. Um, really good bow players will bring stuff to make more coatings once they've run out of coatings to use because you can only carry uh, 20 of each coating unless it's a power coating which you can carry 50 of but I don't like to worry too much about that I like to just play it with what I have but Paralyze is another great coating to use especially because it'll let your teammates get in some hits and it'll let you get in some free hour rings once you know uh, how to plant an hour ring so a few hour rings over here which is or hour rings a few power coatings is going to Paralyze him. It takes a lot less power coatings to paralyze a monster than it takes sleep coatings to put it to sleep. And usually you can put it to or paralyze it two times a quest, depending on the monster, depending on how well you're hitting it. So we should see a paralyze in one or two more coatings, I believe. One more, two more, let's see. It'll be one more. Oh, I was wrong. Rathalos is a big boy. There's the Arrow Rain. So, it's paralyzed. What you do with Arrow Rain, Arrow Rain is awesome damage. Uh, there's three types of Arrow Rain, I believe. Yeah, it's three different types of Arrow Rain. The one on my bow is called Focus. It makes sure that the arrows all come down in one spot. And what you do is you charge up your bow twice and you hit the A button. And your character will launch the arrows into the sky and rain down. And the best thing to do with the arrow rain is make sure you're hitting the head because when you hit the monster's head with arrow rain, you're going to be doing uh, impact damage. And, you know, that definitely adds up to the KO damage so that if you have a hunting horn or a hammer user in your group, you know, it can help knock out the monster. But even when you're playing solo, you get enough arrow rains on the head, you're definitely going to be knocking out monsters. You'll probably see a knockout in this video as well. But Arrow Rain is such a good, good, good attack. There's no reason for you not to get good with it. The last video I ended up killing the Rathalos in about 20 minutes, and that was primarily uh, and mostly just using the double charge, or whatever you want to call it, the charge, the double charge shot. But Arrow Rain's going to make that go by so much quicker. Usually, you'll hit the R button to aim the Arrow Rain. Oh, there's a descending attack that I didn't see. Usually you'll aim the arrow ring with a uh, with the R button. You'll get the uh, the cursor that comes up, and you'll be able to see where the arrow ring is going to land. But once you get really good with it, uh, you won't even need the reticle. 
and I should probably be using the reticle to make sure that I'm hitting every time, but personally, I don't feel like I have the time to aim. See, like, those, only a couple of those hit. I personally don't feel like that I have the time to aim my arrow rain at all. I feel like, um, you know, I just gotta let go and keep moving, because I don't want the monster to catch me. I don't have my Rathalos painted, so let's see if, uh, he might get away from me for a little bit. So yeah, Arrow Rain is definitely a wonderful skill to have on your bow. Um, it's Every bow is able to Arrow Rain. You don't have to worry about you know gemming it or anything like that. The only thing that you might want to worry about is when you are picking your bow. There are three different types of Arrow Rain. Like I said, I believe it's focus, wide, and bomb, or burst. And the burst, or the bomb ones, you know, they fire the bomb forward and it explodes when it hits, when it hits the monster. Um, I haven't played too much with that. The other one I believe is called wide or spread or whatever it is. Um, it's the one that's not focus. Um, that the arrows are all spread out, so it's good to make sure that you're you know hitting the monster at least. You know you won't be missing many arrow rings, but it's not focus, which means you're not going to be hitting the head as much if you are going for you know headshots with your arrow ring. That's what you should be doing because arrow ring on the head is awesome damage. And not only is it awesome damage, but you're also going to be, like I said, racking up that impact damage. See, I, I'm missing my paintballs again. I can't paintball. There we go. So, it's going to be awesome, awesome damage. This video, I'm going to be primarily arrow raining. Kill that Renopolis, because that Renopolis is going to get in my way in the future. But, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to make sure you're just arrow raining. If you don't have an arrow rain, but you can take another shot, there's no reason to not take the other shot, you know? So, just to make sure you are taking your shots, like I said in the other video, make sure you're hitting your monster, and when the opportunity presents itself to arrow rain, like here, see, that's the reticle, that's what I was talking about. Those will hit the head, for sure, but... Arrow rain is a great way to stagger monsters, too. Rathalos... He's a chump to arrow range. He's gonna get staggered all fight this fight. It's gonna be really bad. Bad news for him. It builds up the stagger so quick. It does so much damage. So this Rathlos, it's gonna take significantly less time than the other one. So once you get good with arrow rain, once you understand the distance between you and the monster that's needed for you, or, you know, when you just don't have to aim, it's just, once you work that skill up, it's a beautiful skill to have. Look at all this stagger, all the, oh my god, yes. The wings are already broken, or one of the wings broken. I'm not even sure if the head's broken yet, it might be. I can arrow rain all day. I love arrow rain, it's one of the best skills in the game, in my opinion. And listen to that sound effect too. Uh, when you arrow in the head, it'll make make a distinct sound effect so that you know you're hitting the head. If you're paying attention there, you can hear the regular arrow rain hitting the neck. There's the knockout. There you go. That's the power of arrow rain. Once you get, you know, once you get your pacing stand with bow, you work on the arrow rain. You work on getting the distance stand, and you'll almost never have to use the reticle. It's a wonderful feeling to have. Wonderful skill to be able to arrow rain without the out the reticle as well. It'll definitely save you some time. Crunch. There goes the other wing. And my Rathalos is already limping. Look at that. Already limping. Significantly less time compared to the other Rathalos that I bought. He's gonna fly away. I've got him painted this time, so... I'm probably, I think, I believe from this quest I also failed the capture, I don't remember correctly. I, uh, planted a pitfall trap in the next zone, or whatever it was, and he walked right by, I didn't even go over it. It was upsetting, but... But yeah, that's exactly what you gotta do with the bow. That's how you use bow to its eff uh, effectiveness. Um, some people will also play bow without any status, uh status coatings or anything like that, they just go for the power coatings and they think, uh, 
you know, raw damage is the best, then hey, if that's you, go for it. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to play. This is personally my playstyle, but I really love status effects. I really love putting monsters to sleep. I love bombing monsters. I love paralyzing them. Um, I'd also be poisoning the monster as well if I had poison coatings, but this bow can't uh, load poison coatings. You know, each bow is different. Each bow can load co a certain amount of coatings. Um, some more so than others. Yeah, the Rathalos is just gonna walk right by this pitfall trap. It's not even gonna matter to him. He doesn't care. Is that limp stagger, <laughs> limp swagger? But yeah, I personally love the status effects. I love using status effects. Um, I don't personally like them on my melee weapon. It's just bow that I really enjoy them. I'd be poisoning monsters as well. But again, this bow and my armor is not gemmed for poison coatings. So. It's whatever. I have the sleep, and I'm much more a fan of the sleep than a poison, even though the poison racks up lots of damage really quickly as well. So, I've got my poison, I've got my paralyzed, I'm happy. This Rathalos is uh, not going to be a happy camper once I get up to him again. I'm going to just keep our raining on his head and knock him out real quick. This poor, poor thing. I believe the Benabar also saves me from fireball in this video as well. I got really lucky. Usually it's not so much. Oh, I'm gonna bomb the Rathalos with my Barrel Bomb uh, Watch Pluses. Because I love bombing as well, my, my arm is also gemmed for a... Uh, there you go. That was sweet. That was awesome. Perfect hour rate on the head to finish it off. But yeah, like I was saying, I also have my armor gem for uh, Bomb Plus or whatever it is, or Bombardier, so my bomb damage is increased, because like I said, I just love putting monsters to sleep and bombing them. So, that was our rain significantly less time than the other video, where it took 20 minutes to kill Arathalos with just uh, double charge shots. So, there you can see the difference. Hopefully, between the two videos, you can see, you know, just how effective these skills actually are. So... When you start playing bow, or if you have played bow already, and you know you're just getting your feet wet, make sure that you are maximizing your skills. Practice, practice on Rathalos. Rathalos is really easy, so practice on the Rathalos. You know, get your hour rain down, get your moves down. You know, take your shots when you have them, and that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you got a lot out of this. Check out my next video where I fight a high rank Rathalos, and I don't get hit once at all. And uh, I use everything that I have talked about here in the last video. So good luck with Bo, and I hope to see you in future videos.